Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deadpool and Wolverine Wave 1, hopefully. Putting that out in the universe. Deadpool, aka the brand new suit version of Wade. And I am so excited for this wave. It's kind of a wave. I mean, it's only three figures and technically you can include Colossus in it, but still. It's still technically a wave. There's no build a figure or anything like that for it. But I am super happy to finally have these guys. And they technically came early, so that's pretty cool, because um, they were scheduled for December, but they're shipping out now from Amazon and other places and whatnot, so... But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in and get into what Wade comes with. So everything that he comes with is currently on him, aside from this alternate set of hands, which these are the sword-holding hands or baby-knife-holding hands. These are the exact same ones that came with the Deadpool 1 slash Deadpool 2 figure from Legends. Except for the fact that we have gold on the backs of the hands this time, which is really cool. But the only thing that sucks is that they unfortunately do have the back and forth hinges instead of up and down, which that is really annoying, I'm going to be honest. And alternatively, he has these gun holding hands, slash weapon holding hands, whatever you want to call them. And these also have the gold on the backs of them and they are trigger fingers and they do move up and down. So, I mean, at least we got them on these, but I really wish we would have gotten the sword holding hands to have the up and down hinges as well. He has his signature katanas, which these look great. Unfortunately, they're not, you know, gold, and he doesn't have the gold-plated Desert Eagles, which which sucks, but hopefully that means we'll just get a nice pool, you know, at some point. That would be really cool. And even though he doesn't come with the gold-plated Desert Eagles, he does have his pistols, which is awesome. These are not glued into the holsters, which is phenomenal. They are technically hidden within the figure and in the package by being in his holsters in the package instead of being, like, properly displayed. So that might have been their workaround this time, but... Yeah, that's really cool that we finally got these. So you, if you wanted, you could give these to your Deadpool 1 slash Deadpool 2. Deadpool as well. And then last but not least, he does come with the baby knife, which is awesome. This just goes right into the holster down here on his leg, which, as you can see right there, which is really nice. It Unfortunately, though, it has the opposite problem that the original one had in that this one kind of falls out, for me at least, on my copy of it, is knife falls out very easily whereas the other one it's so stiff that it actually broke on my original one and now taking a closer look at the detail on deadpool this figure looks great i really like the vibrant red i hope that maybe we get like battle damage version of him and logan with you know of course the swapped arms and all stuff but the detail on this guy is great he's got the kind of basketball texture going throughout the suit he's got the little bit of gold where he needs to the kind of bolo tie coming down this belt is not the same i don't think as the first movie one it may be but i don't think that it is the he's got the gold throughout the straps on here which look really good they gave this quite a lot of detail unfortunately they gave him a really flat ass though so i know ryan reynolds would definitely be upset about that if he saw this figure <laughs> but this guy looks great he's got the gold where he needs it the black where he needs it the red where he needs it all of it looks great the only issue that i have with the figure and it's a biggie is the head sculpt so if I kind of straighten it out a little bit here, you can see he's got a really big jaw. Like, I don't know why. If I go ahead and I bring in the Deadpool 1 figure, slash Deadpool 2, whatever you want to call it, which I did hit this guy with a dull coat, so he is a little bit darker than he originally was. But I also like the color on this one a little bit more. I feel like it matches the movie. But the head sculpt on this is just perfect, and I don't know why they didn't just reuse it. I also think that the belt is the same. No, it's not, because the buckle's different. But the head sculpt looks so good on this one, and it just, I don't know, something's off. I think the eyes are too low on this one, or something, but it just, to me, it does not look good. I wish that they had just reused this head sculpt, and it's kind of sad that they didn't. And then as for articulation, this is basically the exact same figure as the Deadpool 1 version, but like an entirely new sculpt at the same time. It's really strange, but it's it's really cool. So his head is on the dumbbell joint, so it can go up that far, can go down decently far, can tilt, rotate, all that good stuff. His shoulders go out that far. He has a butterfly joint that can't really go that far forward, can go back a lot more, can go all the way around, bicep swivel, double joint elbows that go up all the way. We already went over the hand articulation. As for his torso, it can go two clicks forward and couple clicks back but you are going to bend the sheath so be careful with that you don't want to mess that up i think the belt on him is kind of like inset like i think there's like a groove that has this set in here comparatively to the first one but you can still rotate it it is very tough though i think it's like there's a lot of friction going on here 
his legs go out that far, but it does run into these little like pieces on his belt, which I will be cutting off of mine. I'm going to like heavily modify this guy like I did with my first figure. But legs can go that far forward and that far back. He has thigh swivel, double jointed knees that go back that far. No boot swivel or anything, unfortunately, but his feet can go back all the way, can go up that far, and of course, ankle pivot. And now taking a look at some size comparisons. Here he is next to my custom Deadpool and Wolverine Wolverine from the final battle of the movie versus the standard release of the figure. And mine is a little bit shorter because I did give him boot swivel, but these look great together. I like this. Wade is a little bit shorter than both versions, which is accurate to the film. So, and Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds heights. So I think it looks pretty good. And color wise, I like the bright between the both of them, but I really do hope that they give us a battle damage two pack of basically these two and then do all that fun stuff. I think they could do a lot with that concept, especially giving us dog pool if they don't end up giving us nice pool. And then for the rest of the quote unquote wave mates, we have the Wolverine from the beginning of the film and then Colossus from technically Deadpool 1, but also technically Deadpool 2, even though it is the suit from Deadpool 1. I don't know. It's weird, finicky kind of legacy collection type stuff, but these three look great. Colossus is way too big, but I'd rather him be too big than too small, so I'll take it. And then for some older-ish, you know, comparisons from previous films like that, we have Deadpool for and Cable from Deadpool 2, slash Wade's a little bit Deadpool 1-ish. It's so weird and complicated the way that they marketed those figures. But these three look great together, and then we have my amalgamation of every single Wolverine that came out a couple years ago altogether. And I like the way that these all look together. I, I'm going to kind of go into my overall thoughts here before I put the thumbnail itself in, you know, and like have give my overall thoughts. I want to go over a little bit just with these two Deadpools right here. I don't know. I like the look, like the color of this new one. And I think it looks great and everything. But I still, I personally don't think that it's topped the original film one. I, I really love that figure. And I really love what I did to that figure to make it even better. So I'm going to try to do those things to this Deadpool and we'll see what happens with it. But I don't know. There's just something dirty and grungy about the original one. And I just, I really like it. Maybe it's because, you know, like my mind's eye thinking of Deadpool, I think of the first two films of his, of that suit. But who knows? Maybe this new bright red one will grow on me and subsequently the figure will as well. Overall, I, you know, I kind of already gave my previous thoughts of liking the old Deadpool more. And I think if maybe they just reused that head sculpt from the first one on this one, maybe I would feel completely different, I'm gonna be honest. But like I said, I might go ahead and just try to repaint it, or I might try and trim down the jawline just to make his head a little bit smaller. As is though, I really do like the figure. I think that it's a good, it's a good Deadpool. Like if you, if you have the option between getting this version or getting the Legacy Collection re-release of the first two films, Deadpool, I would say get them both because they're two different looks, even though they are, you know, like very, very similar. They both look great and they both are great figures. You definitely get more bang for your buck though with the original one. You get a lot more. I wish they would have included the hands and everything from the previous figure with this guy, like the open hands and, and all that stuff. That would have been really cool. And maybe even the fists too. But this new one is no slouch. I do like it. The articulation is pretty much the exact same. The... The look is just a little bit different, and yeah, I don't know. I I don't, like, it's, I feel like I'm just being super negative about the figure, but I'm also trying not to be, because I don't hate the figure. I just, I don't think that it's necessarily an upgrade from the original. But I do like it, and I'm happy to have it within my collection. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.